Before you do anything, you need to know how to stand outside because the problem with outside is that there's all these little ups and downs that you might not notice when you're walking, but your wheels will find them all. I'm standing in a T position, so this is helping me to stop gravity. Because if I stand like this, I'm gonna go. So I'm standing in a T position. You could also use a V. Anything that puts your wheels against gravity will stop you from rolling. If you're more comfortable, you can do it like that. Like this, but not straight. <laughs> when you skate outside, it's always safer to keep as many feet on the floor as possible. <laughs> so what I use is what's called the staggered stance. Now this is what ramp skaters use because it helps you keep your balance going up and down. When you're outside, you never know when you're going to find an up or a down. <laughs> so it's good to always be prepared. The staggered stance is like this. You can choose whichever foot you like to have in front, whichever feels the most comfortable. You want to put all the weight on the back leg and this is what's going to hold you up. So this is your suspension here. This front leg hasn't got a lot of weight on it, but it's there for stability. So if you get a wobble, you can shift the weight and you can save it, hopefully. <laughs> How do we actually use the staggered stance when we're skating? So you can do some bubbles or some pushes to get some speed and then hit the staggered stance. So once you're in the staggered position, what I tend to do is a one foot bubble because you very quickly lose momentum. Let me just avoid this twig. <laughs> so I hit this and then what I actually do is I like to do it with my right foot. So I'll then swap my staggered stance and I'll use this foot to keep my momentum. And this works really well. So I'm finding, oh, I'm getting a bit fast. I'm gonna hit my stagger again and you lose some of your speed. And then twig. Bubbles are great for twigs. I do them all the time. There we go. Bit of momentum, bit fast, slow it down. Bit faster again. Now this is really, really good because it means that I've got both feet on the ground. So if I do hit a stone or I misjudge one of my twigs, hopefully I can save it. We've got to talk about controlling your speed outside. Now you may notice that I've now got a toe stop down. This is because I want to definitely not go anywhere because I'm standing on top of quite a large hill. You need to be able to control your speed. So don't go outside until you have at least one or two ways of stopping quite confidently. And I'll link to the stopping video for you because it's really, really important that you know how to stop before you hit an incline and then you're in trouble. As soon as I lift my toe stop and go into a staggered stance, I'm just gonna start rolling because I'm on a hill. Now you can do your T-stop, but I tend to use my wheels because I think the wheels are harder than my toe stop. And my toe stop is gonna wear down really, really quickly outside. Whereas my wheels, they are gonna wear down too, but they're not gonna wear down as fast as my toe stop. If you do notice wear on these inside wheels, then you can always move your wheels around to even the wear out. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna hit my stagger. Straight away, I'm gonna start moving. So I'm gonna go into my T position. Now, obviously you can also do a plow, but sometimes the plow is harder to control the speed. This is a really steep hill, so this would be my preferred method for dealing with a really steep hill. Now, obviously you need to be able to skate backwards to be able to do this. But again, just think about what you're comfortable doing before you head outside. So having just told you that I tend to use my wheels to brake outside rather than toe stop because it wears it down, I've turned backwards and I've used my toe stop. So when you apply this, I talk about the sweet spot with the toe stop. So I'm on my front two wheels and the toe stop is just in and it's just enough to control the speed without hopefully wearing it down too badly. Having just enjoyed my ride down the hill, sadly to get home, I've got to go back up it again. <laughs> so unfortunately, you cannot keep both feet on the ground when you're going up a hill. You just can't get enough power from a bubble. So you need to push. And I've got a video on this and I'll link to that again for you. But it's all about the power. It's a really good workout. If you're not quite comfortable with a big push, you can cheat it and you can use your toe stops as well. to mention it I'm wearing all my padding and my helmet now you may notice in some of my earlier videos I wasn't I can vouch for the fact that it only takes a couple of hard falls outside for you to think hmm 
maybe I should wear my padding. Basically with padding, I see it as a way of giving you somewhere safe to bail to that isn't your skin. If I'm falling, I need to put my hands down, I need to get my knees down, I need to get my body down to take the impact. But I can't do that if I've got bare hands. Obviously, you can also always wear this inside as well if it makes you feel more comfortable. Skady, I think it's time to show them kids what I'm capable of. One thing you're likely to encounter outside is a curb. So the best way to deal with these is to kind of sneak up on them. <laughs> so what I mean is if you're rolling along beside the curb is to step, check the traffic, is to step down into the pavement. This is a lot safer than tackling it as if you were walking up it. So if you've got to stop and cross, the best way again is to hit it sideways. So a side step down, then you can skate across and side step back up. If you do happen to come across a set of steps when you're outside, this is a really good technique to tackle those as well. So I hope some of the tips and tricks in this video will help you gain a little bit more confidence skating outside. Now, if I now knew what video to do for next week. Thank you so much, Skatey. If you happen to have a video about how to hop downstairs due to a broken ankle, oh yeah, baby. I really hope Brandon doesn't actually need that video. I'm Katie, you've been watching Skatey, and I'll see you next time. Bye.